If you've got 10 minutes, you can recreate this and I'm going to show you how. All right, now we're in Photoshop. Here's our reference image, this Ohio State football graphic. Uh, the photos in this are amazing. Layout is awesome. Um, the texture is cool. Everything about this is really cool. We're going to go through and recreate this with some high school basketball players for a high school team. Um, so here is what I was able to recreate um, for Riley Christian Academy uh, School in North Carolina. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how I got to this point. So the layer zero, have your white layer. Uh, second layer, get your paint bucket tool over here. Uh, make sure you put, uh, get solid black and lower the opacity to create an off-white. Um, this was a solid black. I lowered it to 11 just to settle off-white. Um, next thing we did, um, we're going to want to, uh, we're going to get our layout of our players. So those are the photos I used in the original. Um, for this one, I have this photo and this photo. So I am going to throw them in here, convert to smart object, right click convert to smart object, make sure everything needs to be a smart object, that way we're working non-destructively so we can add effects and then still go back and change it. All right, and now I've got both photos in here. Both are smart objects, and now I'm going to Shrink them a little bit, and that's good for now. But now let's cut these photos out. Um, use whatever method you like. For me, I'm going to use my Remove Background, Remove BG app plugin. Uh, link is down in the bio if you're interested. Okay, we're back quick and easy. We've got our images cut out. Now I'm going to work on getting the scale where we want it. Um, you want the head to be a little bit bigger and this bottom image to kind of be a little smaller down towards the bottom. I'm going to look at this first one I made for reference since these are going to be going as a set for this high school. I'm going to get, if you don't, if you've never used these, these are very useful. Um, you can push, I believe the hotkey is control R. Yeah, control R is going to bring up your ruler tool. And I'm going to mark off um, where the background image is, the scale of it, and the foreground front image, scale of it. So I can get the scale um, as close as possible. So something like that, and that'll keep it similar to the other one I've already created. Um, for me, I want to avoid having this white space behind the two photos. So I'm going to move him all the way over to right there on the edge of his neck. It's because I want these to kind of merge together. Okay. Um, we're going to leave that alone for now. Next thing I did is I'm going to search for a subtle white texture, um, to fill this background. If we look at Ohio state, you can see it's off white and there's subtle texture in the background of spots. Um, ours is going to be a little different than theirs. Um, I went with this one and this is the original image and I've lowered the opacity to around 52 for now. A little dark right now, but we're, we're going to lighten that up as we go. Um, yeah, we did a camera raw. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and add our player effects. Um, let's do our background image first. Uh, we want it to really stand out and be really sharp. Let's see. Auto. It's one of my presets I have. You can copy these settings if you want to take a look. I'm going to try our texture up on this one. We want it to be very textured, have a lot of detail, and I'm going to just boost the sharpness a good bit. And let's just click OK for now and see how that looks. And I'm liking the way that looks. Um, you can see before and after that sharpness just really makes it pop up off the page. Let's hold Alt and move that smart filter and we'll copy it and put the same exact so now these two photos have the same exact camera raw on them. Okay. Next up, let's do our text layout. So we look here. We've got the name and details smaller right here as well with the number in the background and the signature. So 
um, for this one. Um, I already have a text layout. The font is Helvetica. Pretty basic font you can find anywhere if you don't already have it. I'm going to position it somewhere around here. We have our number here in the background. He's number one, so this will be an easy change. Um, I have it as a smart object, so I'll show you what I did. Um, we have the opacity lower to 20. Uh, the font is Druk. I'll put the link in the details. And let's lower our opacity back down to 20. Okay, and now I'll show you why we made it a smart object. Um, we added, I added some noise. So we have our smart filters here. Um, to add noise, come up here to filter, noise, add noise. And if you look closely, let's look at our number. Here it is before, here it is after. And it adds those white specks um, that give it the detail that kind of match with that sharpness look um, that we have going on with the photos and the texture in the background. Okay, I kind of like that layout. Um, and then let's go back to our Ohio State. They have this awesome signature. I'm assuming that's probably that guy's real signature. I do not have access to that for this one. So I found this font on Envato Elements called um, Gelotus. Gelotus. So let's change that to his last name. This kid's got a great last name. The next part is going to be we need to mask out the parts that we want colored and the parts that we want black and white. Okay, for this one, um, for this, our version, you can see we've got blue and red showing. Um, I didn't want to do just red because it's not that much red in their uniforms. And I didn't want to do just blue because the then the red parts didn't quite, I don't know, I didn't like the way it looked. So I did the whole red and blue. So what we're going to do is going to make a hue saturation layer above our background player. I'm going to put it saturation all the way down. Control Alt G. And I'm going to push Control I just for reference. So now that is hidden and I'm going to get my pen tool. And I'm going to so zoom in and select around the jersey. Okay, I have the parts that I want to remain in color selected now. Um, you can see that I kind of briefly went over there. And I'm going to come over here with my white brush. Put my fill up. Put the hardness up. And I'm going to erase on that, la erase on that layer mask. And then I'm going to do my inverse again. Control I. So there we go. There you see it. That gives us the black and white effect that we're looking for in this picture. And in this picture, same effect. The jersey's blue and red. Everything else is black and white. We still got a little ways to go with the effects, but this is the first step. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on this picture here. Okay, there is our black and white skin tones with our color and our jersey effect. Let's go through and add some skin tones, and I'm also going to add a little basketball, um, like they have the football sitting there. And so for your shadows, you don't know how to do it, make a new layer here. Get your brush. Soft hardness all the way down to zero. Let's make it a flatter side, flatter brush. Pick our size up a little bit. Let's put our flow around 15, 20 or so. I'm going to go 15 for this one. And now it's going to be just some brushing. So every time you click, it's going to get a little bit darker. I always want to have the shadow has it to be the darkest at point of contact with the ground. So right here where his foot is actually on the ground, I'm going to make it pretty dark. And then as I expand, I'm going to click less and have it kind of flare out. Let's see what we're looking at there. So there's that. I'm going to add a little bit more in front of each foot. There. I think that looks pretty good. So there's our shadows. 
Now let's grab the same basketball that I used in the first one to put over here for um, just a little more accent. Just to keep it consistent with the other one we already have created. And let's do some adjustment layers to kind of bring this thing all home. All right, so we have our layout and our player effects just about complete. Um, let's go through some adjustment layers and bring everything together. Um, I went through the selective color tool down here. If you don't know where that's at, come down here to your layers, selective color. So I use selective color, and in my case, I really want these reds to pop off the page. So I'm going to adjust this um, option here to reds. And I'm just going to play with these settings here. And what this is doing is messing with the red on the entire graphic. So everything that's got a red tint is going to be adjusted by this. And if we zoom in, you can see I've just made that red just a little bit brighter. Now I'm going to go ahead through and try and do the same thing with blues. Um, it's going to be a little tougher because it's navy. And I don't want to change the color too much, but I do want it to be a little bit brighter than what we've got right now. Something like that looks pretty good. And then blacks. I'm going to darken up the hair a little bit. Let's see our mid-tones. Let's add a little bit more contrast and darken that up. And let's try whites. Bam. So if you could see... We've added a lot more contrast within the whole image, and we've made the, the red and blue pop off the page at us a little bit more. Okay, next thing I did was come through and I used a, um, created a vibrance layer. And it doesn't do a ton, but if you look at the colors, we've boosted the vibrance up to 59, the saturation up to 22, just a little more pop there. Then add a curves, kind of smooth our colors out a little bit there's our curve curves layers down here then i went through added my logos down here for some detail okay and then um, i added some more brushing at the bottom just get a soft black brush um, low fill and kind of brush around i wanted it to um, kind of draw my eyes in towards the middle just a little vignette to kind of draw your eyes in towards the middle and then last step is going to be to create an exposure layer Let's boost the exposure. Let's go to Control I. So we're going to have whatever we're brushing on with a white brush now. It's going to make the make it very bright. So I'm going to get my brush regular, soft, and high opacity. I'm just going to go 100. All the whites of his eyeballs. I'm going to brush. I want that to pop off the page a little bit. You're going to have to zoom in. So I want his eyes to pop. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to brush on his jersey so the Riley will pop. Okay, let's take a look at the before. There's the before, there's the after. Look at his jersey, look at his eyeballs here. Before, after. It's subtle, but I think it's a pretty cool effect. And then to tie it all up, let's go to new layer. Let's go to image, apply image. All right. And if you don't know, that's going to take everything that we've just made and put it on a single layer. I'm going to make that a smart object. And I'm going to go to filter camera roll and play with our settings and get some finishing touches on it. Bam. And there you have it. After our camera roll, that is our finished product. That was legitness. Yeah. It that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you were able to learn something. Please tag me or send me any of your finished results on Instagram at BA Sport Designs. Check out my website, basportdesigns.com. So that's it for now. Be on the lookout for the next tutorial.